253,683,800. Thank you. Palisa District. Palisa District, as Amdat, Katapi, and Kayunga get ready in that order. Palisa, please don't take this gesture for granted. We are going to follow up more closely than ever before. 220,800,000 for Palisa. Can I call upon Amdat? Amdat District. As Katakui, Kayunga, and Mubende get ready in that order. Amdat, 229,998,500 shillings. This is your web. That is Amdat. We wish you well as you receive the women funds. Katakui, please come forward. The 208,216,000 for Uganda Women Entrepreneurship Program. Katakui, Your Excellency. As Kayunga, Mobende, and Kamwenge get ready. Can we have Kayunga, please? You have your web funds of 227 million, 263,000 for Kayunga District. That is funding for the women. As Mobende, Kamwenge, and Buheju get ready. Mobende District, please quickly come forward with 303,121,000 for the women of Mobende. Thank you. Kamenge and Buheju, please come forward. Kamenge District, with 246 million, 5,000 for the women. Thank you. Finally, Buheju. Buheju. The district of Buheju is receiving 124,602,000 for the women, entrepreneurship women of Buheju district. Can I kindly call upon Padel Ofuke and Mayuge to receive the youth livelihood program money for their respective districts? Padel? quickly come forward as Ofuke, Mayuge, and Sronko get ready, respectively. Padel, move like senior youth. Padel. Padel is receiving 337 million 220,000 for the youth of Padel district. Thank you very much. Otuke District. Otuke District. Two hundred and seventy eight million six hundred and eighty thousand for the youth of Otuke. Mayuga District, as Sironko, Kotido, and Napak get ready, respectively. <laughs> Mayuge. Mayuge District, 
youth are receiving 671 million 640 thousand. Sironko, Sironko District, as Kotido, Napak, and Mukono get ready, respectively. Cotido. Cotido District, please move forward. Cotido District is receiving 418 million 100,000 for the youth of Cotido. We wish you success. Napak, as Mukono, Rakai, Isingiro, and finally Kisoro, get ready. Napak District. In a special way, we need to encourage the people of Napak to ensure that there are no more children coming to the streets. You're receiving 244,900,000. Can I call upon Mokono, Rakai, Isingiro, and finally, Kisoro? Mokono District is receiving 414,570,000 for the youth of Mokono District. Rakai District. Rakai District. Can I call upon Rakai District to receive 333,800,000 for the youth of Rakai? Thank you very much. Isengiro, please come forward. Isingiro District. Isingiro District is receiving 467,310,000 for the youth of Isingiro District. <laughs> and in that category, finally, Kisoro. We thank you, Kisoro, for voting. Please keep, keep it up. Keep it up. Kisoro is receiving 305,790,000 for the youth of Kisoro. Mr. President, Mr. President, we have over 70 checks lined for you here, but we only chose 20 uh, due to time that you signified and gave out to. Oh, quickly, very quickly. <laughs> Can you kindly queue up? Please don't take it for granted. We'll follow you up with this money. The president that you see here will be the same president to summon you after 2021. He will be the president of Uganda. Can we have Buyende coming forward again? Buyende, quickly, please. Let me start with the women, okay? Ajumani District. Ajumani District is receiving 223,088,774. Mm. Ajumani. So, Buyenda, you can receive and, and leave the stage. And then we can have Ajumani very quickly. I think read from here, sorry to Mukono District, please come forward. And this is the Youth Livelihood Program, Mukono District. As Bunyangabo gets ready and, and Chikube District. Mukono is on the stage 
as Bunyangabo and Kikube district. Move closer. That's Nyangabo with 212 million 606. We have Mukono. Mukono. Again, for the Youth Livelihood Program, you're receiving 213 million 340,000. Chikube, Rukonjiri, and Buko District. Get ready, please. Boko, get ready. Okay. We need Rukunjiri ready, Boko ready, Hoima, and Tungamo. Please move in that order. There are no people from Chikube? Thank you. 231 million, 100,000. There is one already there. There is one already there. Rukunjiri. Rukunjiri district for the Youth Livelihood Program. Please give way so that we can take it off. As we wait for Buko, Hoima, Ntungamo, Kanungu, and Arua. Very quickly, please. Buko District, 231,770,000 for the Youth Livelihood Program. Hoima. Hoima as Ntungamo Kanungu. Arua and Kamoli district move closer. Kanongu, Arua, Kamoli, Butebo district, please move closer. Tungamo, please. Move faster. Kanongu. Kanongu is receiving 298,700,000. Kanongu, please. As Arua, Kamoli, Butebo, and Nakapripit move closer. Arua District, please move closer. Arua is receiving 610,250,000 for the youth. The youth chairperson of Arua. Can you wave to the people? Great. As Kamali District moves forward. Thank you. Commercial break. Nakapi repeat. Nakapi repeat is receiving 229,200,000 for the youth of Nakapi repeat district. Let me have Bulamburi district. Bulamburi district, please come forward to receive 283,500,000 for the youth of Bulamburi district. 
Manafa na Mtumba Ajumani Move closer Thank you Bulamburi Can I have Manafa District receiving 232 million for the use of Manafa. As Namutumba Ajumani Bolisa So Your Excellency that marks the end of youth livelihood money It is in order. Ajumani first. Okay. So over to the Women's Entrepreneurship Program. Can I call upon Ajumani? Your Excellency, this is the last set. Now we switch to the Women Funds. The Ajumani District taking up number one. It's receiving 223,088,774 for the Women of Germany district. As Bolisa, Busia, Butaleja, and Butebo line up in that order. Your Excellency, Bolisa is receiving today 166,612,000 for the women of Bolisa district. The women kindly move faster. and Dokolo get ready in that order. Busia. Busia. As Butale Jabutebo and Dokolo get ready. Busia today receiving 152 million 138,200 shillings for the women of Bolisa district. As Butale Jabutebo Dokoro and Entebbe municipality get ready in that order. Butaleja is receiving 144,702,591 shillings. Butebo District, followed by Dokoro, Entebbe Municipality, and Gomba. Butebo is receiving 102 million 258,000 shillings, 200 shillings for the women. Dokolo District, please move forward. Dokolo is receiving 159,547,200 shillings. As Entebbe, Gomba, Gulu, and Hoima follow respectively. Entebbe Municipality is receiving 130 million 578,000 for the youth, for the women of Entebbe Municipality. Gomba, Gulu, Hoima, and Kabong. Gomba District, please. Gomba is receiving 116,942,000 for the women of Gomba district. Gulu, Hoima, Kabong, and Kalido district. Gulu is receiving 63,500,000.
and 6,000. Golo, thank you. Thank you very much. A for my take. Hoima. Hoima District. Followed by Kabong, Kalido, and finally Kamoli. Hoima is receiving 200. Hoima is receiving two. 265 million 320,000 for the women of Hoima. Kabong Kalido Kamoli, please move forward. For the women entrepreneurs in Kabong, the government is issuing 206 million 659,000 today for the women entrepreneurs of Kabong district. Thank you, thank you. Kalilo district, please do the same. Kalilo district, please do the same. Kalilo district is receiving 145,100,000 shillings for women entrepreneurs in Kalilo. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Kamoli district. Kamoli followed by Nebi, Ngora, and Otuke. Kamoli is receiving 178,875,000 for the women entrepreneurs in Kamoli. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Nebi, Ngora, Otuke, and Oyam district. Please move forward. Nebi is receiving 178,76,012,000 for the women entrepreneurs in Nebi. Who is doing it? The woman. Thank you, Nebi. Ngora, Otuke, Oyam, and Padel. Ngora, please, faster. Ngora is receiving 138,162,000 for women entrepreneurs in Ngora district. Otoke district, as Oyam, Padel, and Koboko gets ready in that order. Thank you, Otuke. Oyam. Otuke is receiving 173,935,000 for women entrepreneurs in Otuke. Oyam district. Oyam. As Padel Koboko District and Koboko Municipality get ready in that order. Oyam is receiving 222,328,000 shillings for the women entrepreneurs. <laughs> Padel Koboko District and Koboko Municipality, respectively. Padel is receiving 247,800,000 for the women entrepreneurs in Padel. Koboko District, Koboko Municipality. As Kotido and Choteda get closer in that order. Koboko District is receiving 195,944,700 shillings. Koboko Municipality. Koboko Municipality, you're receiving 
143 million eight six eight hundred and sixty six thousand for the women of Koboko municipality. Can we have Cotido, Chotera, Lamo, and Luka district? Cotido is receiving two hundred and fifty three million eight hundred and eight thousand two hundred shillings for the women entrepreneurs in Cotido district. Can I call upon Chotera, Lamo, Luka, and Luengo districts to come forward in that order? Chotera has received 100,231,000 for women entrepreneurs in Chotera district. Lamo, Luca, and Ringo, please move forward in that order. Lamo is receiving 174 million 52,000 for women in Lamo district. Luca, Luengo, and Liantonde districts, respectively. Luca receives now 139,495,000 for the women entrepreneurs in Luca district. As Luengo, thank you. As Luengo, Liantonde, Manafra, and Moroto gets ready in that order. Rengo receives today 131,745,775 shillings. Liantonde, Manafa, Moroto, and Moyo, please get ready in that order. Liantonde receives 134,280,000. For the women in Liantonde. Manafa, Moroto, Moyo, and Nakasongola. Please get forward in that order. Manafa today receives 133,258,000 for the women entrepreneurs in Manafa district. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Manafa. Can we have Moroto District? Moroto today receives 178,743,000 for the women entrepreneurs in Moroto. Thank you. Moyo, Nakasongora, and Namisindwa, please get ready. Moyo receives 130,553,000 for the women in that district. Nakasongora, Namisindwa, and Nansana municipality. Please get ready in that order. Nakasongora, 125 million, 6,800 shillings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Nami Singra. Namisindwa receives 107,821 shillings today for the women in Namisindwa. Excellent. Thank you. Nansana municipality and finally Namutumba for the women. Nansana has received 199 million. 40,115 shillings from the government for women 
in Nansara District Municipality. Finally, in Namutumba. Namotumba takes the last dose. And I wish to inform your excellency that the rest of the districts had already received their checks. But these are so lucky to receive from you. <laughs> Can I invite the Minister for Gender, Labor and Social De Development to invite the President? I thank you. Thank you so much, Honorable Nachwara. I want to appreciate the efforts of the following persons. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development. <laughs> the, um, the ministers and the civil servants and the chairpersons of districts and the chairpersons of the Women Council and the youth council, youth, youth councils. I'm rushing, I've got two other functions, uh, which I must be at before dark. Now, the, I will not say much because uh, I would have said more if maybe the only thing I can say are simply two words. Number or three. Number one, much of the poverty in a country like Uganda, which has been peaceful for quite some time now, is due to Okwebaka. Okwebaka. Nino, in Luo, I don't know how they call it, in Akaramajong and Ateso, Siripi. Ajo, Ajo, Ajo. Uh -huh. This is really the problem. It is the main disease. When you find people, and I want, when you go back, you the chairpersons, I want you to do data parish by parish. How many homesteads are engaged in the income generation in the parish? You'll be surprised. When we did some sample, in uh, one district called uh, Rubirizi, in one parish called Ndangaro. There were 2,500 homesteads. Only one was engaged in some wealth creation, in money, in income generation. This is a very fertile area. The land is very fertile, but they simply did not have the culture of making money. So this is the first thing you should really assault, the mentality, the mentality, the mentality. Somebody to be there without money. And you must emphasize to everybody that the target is food security and also income generation, so that everybody gets up from, from sleep. Secondly, the country Uganda is very rich. What proof do I have? You just look at yourselves. 
what you are what you are wearing. Just look at yourself. You are a wonderful market for foreign products. The dress you are putting your, the tie you are putting your, the undershirt you are putting your, the trousers, the shoes, the belt, the, 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 the watch. How much wealth is that on yourself alone? How much money? Now, all that money you are giving to foreigners. And then you come and you cry that my child has no job. But you have given the job to, to the Italians who make the shoes. You have given the, the, the job to the, South, to the Chinese these days. Everything is from China, 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 China. Now, therefore, you, as readers, the, the first thing you need to deal with is the, the problem of sleeping. Sleeping, we cannot go on having sleeping, people complaining. Oh, the government, the, the government is doing its, uh, its uh, lobbying. Lobbying, Katara, Orijezi, Epelu in Ateso. The government is doing its, uh, its lobbying. Peace is the lobbying of government. Infrastructure, the roads. But the government cannot come and cultivate your Rubimbi in your house to get income for you. That's why what we do, we give you guidance and also support, like this support we are, we are giving. But Uganda is a rich country because the, the purchasing power is high. All these products you are buying, the cars, the motorcycles, the televisions, television sets, the telephone sets, all that is money, 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 money going out. So that's why, therefore, we must make a movement among ourselves. But first of all, understand where does, how does the, the money flow? How much money is flowing into Uganda? And how much money is flowing out? And why? Me, as a coffee grower, I bring in money for you, dollars. As a, a milk producer, I bring in money for you. But when the money gets here, you send it back to buy clothes, to buy shampoo, to buy all those things. So therefore, please clarify, this is not a problem of, of, of poverty. It is a problem of, of orientation. People don't know how to get out of poverty. That we should, that's what we should concentrate on. I am glad to see these exhibitions outside. The exhibitions show that some youth have woken up. <laughs> like the youth from Ichisoro, they are starting from the basic. They, ta they take the animal skins and turn them treat them until the skins become leather. Those are jobs. We need to do more of that. Then once the skins are turned, then they are made in shoes, in thunder bags, into even car seats, many of the car seats you sit on are made of leather. But that, that, that leather, most likely, likely are the skins which went from here 
were treated outside and were, were brought back as either as, as car seats or as shoes or whatever. So, let's have a movement of import substitution and export promotion. That will create a lot of jobs. All these children you say don't have jobs, we, have, we shall have more jobs than we can, we, can, we can feel and we shall even import labor. That's what Japan does. When you hear that people are going to Japan to do KAO, what does it mean? It means they, they, they have enough jobs for their own people and they have got spare jobs for, for foreigners. Why? Because the Japanese woke up long ago. They woke up. Now, the areas where you can make money, where you can get jobs, are four. Commercial agriculture. That's where you can get money. If you are not in commercial agriculture, go into in industry. Leather turning, shoemaking, food processing. The other day you saw we had a big problem of the maize. We produce so much maize that the price collapsed. But it, it, although the price of uh, grain was collapsing, the price of the, of the kaunga in the shops didn't change. I don't, I don't think anybody said that the posho price had gone down. I didn't hear that. What happened was that the price of grain collapsed because there's too much grain which was not processed. So by increasing the processing capacity, did the, did the price of the animal feeds go down? In fact, it went up. So here we are crying that, oh, the maize price has gone down. But has the portion price gone down? No. Has the animal feed price gone down? No. And yet we have got idle youth. So that's why we should have a program to help our youth directly and indirectly to engage in partial processing. Process partial, process uh, make, make, make animal feed so that everything is processed to supply here but also to export. Of course, there are other issues. There are other issues al along the way. One of them is, is, is quality. quality. But those are details. Once you have something in your head, you can know how to deal with the details. Now, finally, I would have said many things, but because of time, I would, I'm rushing. Finally, the issue of the budget. The budget... There are certain things we'll have to do, which will take money. One of them is to improve the equipment of the army, because we have not equi improved the equipment for some years now. We need to relaunch our airline, because we are squandering a lot of money by traveling in other people's aircraft. Each year, this country of yours is spending $450 million on air travel. Coffee brings in $500 million. $450 million goes up for, for people who are traveling. What, what sort of economy, or what plan here is this? Yeah. All the money goes back 
people are just traveling to go to Dubai, to do what, to do, uh, that they are going to rest in Dubai. Why, why do you go to rest in Dubai? All that is taking my, all, all those people are taking my coffee money. The money I earned from coffee, these, these leisure, leisure seekers are taking it to, 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 to. $450 million. So we are saying that, oh, if people, if Ugandans like leisure, at least let them, let them have it in our own planes. So we need to, to, to deal with that. But all this can be dealt with because you people, you all have members of parliament. Women, you have a big group of women, MPs. The, the boys, the, the youth. Now tell your MPs to agree with me so that we cut out items like travel. Why are people traveling? And reduce administrative exp expenditure so that we can both deal with the strategic, because I cannot agree not to have the army equipped. That one I cannot agree. But I also cannot continue without having, losing all this money because of using other people's airlines. But then, if we are going to do that, but at the same time, squander money by traveling, and so, so what do we do now? So, if we have discipline, we can increase this wealth creation budget, since people have woken up now. I'm glad to hear that people have woken up, they have got out of the sleep, they are fighting for the women fund money, they are fighting for the youth fund, so let's now discipline ourselves, do the necessities, because the budget is in your hands, because you are, if, if I was running the counter alone, you would see how I would plan things. But because when we came, we gave you power. There's a chairman in the district somewhere, his legs are up there. <laughs> there are members of parliament, those are doing their own things, the courts are doing their own things that they are independent, parliament is independent, uh, courts are independent, Bank of Uganda is independent, everybody is independent. I am here like a lobbyist. Please, please, please come back, come back. So help me in the lobbying so that we, we lobby all these independent people to save money for the army, because that one we shall get. That one we shall get. Save money for the airline. Save money for the wealth creation fund. Because the budget of the country is, is 32 trillion. I think next time it will be 34 trillion. So, let's see. It is in our hands. You go and talk to all the MPs in your area, you please. The president told us, Ame, that one, is, we shall have no compromise. Airline, wealth creation funds. Then, if, if some money remains, you can go and travel to Dubai, you can, you can travel after that. But let us not encourage bad planning squandering of resources, and then we also then complain that we don't have enough money for, because all this power is within the Constitution, the way the, 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 power, the power was uh, distributed. I thank you. Let me rush to do some other things. Thank you very much. Can we stand up for the East African Anthem, followed with the National Anthem? Mutuzo is the acting president, she will take the anthem. <laughs>
be with us. There are going to be administrative announcements from Secretariat of UEP and YROP. Thereafter, we shall go for our lunch, but after singing the anthems. Announcement.